All right, for our fifth bout of the evening, our only female bout on the card, Leash Pike and Sandy Chang. Looking forward to this one. Now I was going to ask you guys what we, we know about these these two. What? So uh, Leash Pike, she uh, this is her Boston Boxing debut. Okay. She's coming off a split draw versus uh, River Tucker over at the Lowell Auditorium. So, um, yeah, interesting enough. She's 1-0-1. Uh, oh Barry, now is he part of the team walking her out, or is that just Brandon walking by? Us? I think that's just Brandon walking by. I, I don't know, actually. Yeah, Sandy Chang. I know she's a uh, not much on the boxing circuit, but she's uh, pretty decent on the uh, Philadelphia MMA circuit. Leash Pike also, she holds a win over Karen Doolin in her debut. Karen's a veteran of boxing. Curious to see who's in the corner of, uh, of Pike. Um, Yeah, this should be an interesting fight. Sandy Chang, the 32-year-old, 118.2 pounds, taking on Leash Pike, 34 years old, at the super bantamweight limit of 122. And this is Chang's debut? I believe so. Big crowd pop for Leash Pike. Yeah, and she's with she's with the guys from Everybody Fights, Nick here and uh, Chris. I was curious because I know some people from the, the beach area. Okay. Um, Jack Green and Mike Benikowski. This is my first time seeing Pike. I believe Pike was a, a pretty good amateur in her own right. Made the turn to pro pretty recently. Like I said, a victory over Karen Doolin, who's a veteran of the sport. Yeah. And then uh, split draw in her last fight, so. Both of those fights taking place in nearby Lowell, Massachusetts. Peter Zimbor for the introductions. Women's division, super bantamweights, four rounds. Introducing first boxing out of the blue corner to my left. Wearing black trunks and a black top, she comes to us from the city of brotherly love in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Tonight, she makes her professional boxing debut. Ladies and gentlemen, bang, bang, Sandy Chang. And her opponent, standing directly across the ring, fighting out of the red corner to my right. She's wearing purple trunks with black trim and a black top. Her record, one win, zero defeats, one draw. Tonight, she makes her Boston Boxing Promotions debut and hails from Salisbury Beach, Massachusetts. Ladies and gentlemen, a warm welcome for Leash Pike. Four rounds, super bantamweights. I would say so far, uh, biggest pop Pike the got the biggest pop of the night, yeah. Pike from Salisbury Beach, Massachusetts. Both of her previous professional fights at the Lowell Memorial Auditorium. Yeah, real interesting. Of course, the LMA site of the Golden Gloves every year up here on the North Shore. Yep. He's coming out fast. Right out the gate, lots of punches. Wasting no time. Both throwing Pike, the only one connecting so far. She's wearing the purple trunks. Pike yeah, no feeling out process here, guys. Nope. Well, with the two-minute rounds, you don't really have time to have a feeling out process. Yeah, that's true. Pike doing a good job, body and head. Real wild, though. Nothing straight so far. Good job. Good right hand. Yeah, nice Pike keeps finding that right hand over the low left of um, of Sandy. Chang's corner calling for straight rights. Chang's taking it though, showing a decent chin so far. Be interesting to see if they can keep this pace all night.
Nice left hands there by Sandy, two yeah. in a row. Yeah. Pike trying to lead in with the jab. Pike with a really wide stance, coming right in. Sandy now pushing Pike back. Sandy's doing a good job with her lead hand, hooking off of it. Yeah, Pike, ooh, nice right hand by Sandy. Nice right hand. Already about 20 seconds left in the front. Both girls broadcast. are inviting that straight right hand yeah, by right. how they position their left hand. Nice, oh, right, nice hand right hand by Pike. Pike. It's there. Good left hook. Good Another right sneaky hand. right hand again by Pike right over the top. I'd have to say that's a Pike round. That's a Pike round, 100%. Quick rounds the two minutes. Pike started off strong and ended strong. Kind of slowed down in the middle. Yeah. They're doing a good job of uh, they're exchanging, you know. They're, but Pike is landing the bigger shots in those exchanges. Both seem to have solid corners, getting solid advice. Chang definitely breathing heavy. Chang's corner is telling him, telling her to come underneath with that uppercut after she throws her right hand. Sold out crowd here tonight, guys. Yeah, we'll, uh, packed up quick. In between uh, the next couple fights, we'll start to uh, talk about some of the greatest boxing, boxing, uh, Boston Boxing Promotions fights of all time. So start yeah. thinking about them. All right. Round two underway, Pike and Sandy Chang. Good right hand by Chang. Chang. Pike's really measuring with that jab and then coming in heavy with her right hand. She'd probably be better suited to start snapping that jab more, though. Pike connected and now Good following right hand it up top. relentlessly. Another nice right hand over the top. Yeah, they're just going at it. Good body shots there for Pike. And Johnny Callis separates Oh, well, looks him. like there's a cut on Chang's eye, right eye. Yeah. And it's dripping. Probably from a clash of heads the way they were going More than likely, at it. yeah. Pike connecting. Throwing yeah, a Pike flurry. just nonstop this round. Yeah, just relentless pressure. She's just trying to break it down. Another good right hand. Yeah, she keeps fighting a home for that right hand. Definitely a headbutt. You see some swelling on Pike's right eye now. And Pike another, is just relentless looking nice for that right stoppage. Hand. Nice left hook. Pike doesn't want to see the third round. Chang is in some serious trouble yeah, Chang here. Is, Chang is real flustered right now. 30 seconds to go in round two. Sandy breathing very heavy. Another good right hand by Pike. Pike targeting that right eye. Chang really has no offense in there now. One last hook for good measure. Oh. Man. Chang will go to the corner. We'll yeah. see if she comes out. It'll be interesting to see if she comes out. My guess is she will, but. Not heavy she was, bleeding. She took from a that bit right of a beating eye. that round. Yeah, that's going to make it interesting now. You know, we'll see what the cut man can do with it. If they have a cut man. Johnny Callis coming over. I'll check out that eye. Doctor might want to step in, take a look at it. I think they're going to let it go. First two rounds decisively. Seems like they're not fight. applying any any uh, no pressure any adrenaline not, yeah. or anything. They're just simply putting Vaseline on it. Yeah, people really take for granted what it is to have a good cut, man. Oh, yeah. It, 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 their job is to keep you in the fight. And, yeah. you know, when you need one, you, it's it's you can't put a a, yeah, le huge. a level of value on how important it is because yeah. a good one that's exactly what they'll do is they'll control the bleeding to yeah. keep you on the fight. It's the difference between a win and a loss sometimes, you know. Uh, very often when the yeah, delay the start here. 
Yeah, and like I thought, they're going to have a doctor take a look at it. I've had a few guys deal with some pretty nasty cuts, and uh, if you don't know how to control it in the corner, it can be interesting. And it's in a weird spot, too, right, right above the eye. Yeah, where it bleeds right into yep. the eye. Time immediately called Dr. By. Sonny, one of the best in the business. I thought that initial stoppage was because both of the corners had yet to vacate the ring. He, he left it like up to Chang. let it go. Yeah, he left it up to Chang. She wants to fight. Looks like it's more so on the side of the head, so not really compromising her vision. Pike right back out. Lasts. Pike's right to work here in the third. Pike just throwing punches and bunches. A flurry, everything connecting. Good chopping right hand over the top by Pike. Another, Another right one. over the top. Right to the body and the uppercut there. I hear Mark DeLuca behind me saying up the middle to Pike. Pike has uppercut. some serious swelling on her right eye. Uppercuts to the body would be well served by Pike. Sometimes just taking a step the back. Body will work. Work. Yeah. Just taking a step back and assessing what you have in front of you and she's kind of smothering her shots. Blood starting to flow. Yeah, from she is smothering right her punches. Eye. She'll walk and she'll step in while yep. punching and she's got to hit the brakes there at some point. Just keep a little more space so she can find shots like that left hook exactly. and that yeah. right hand. Yep. You have to have the right di distance to land shots like that. Yeah, it's hard to generate the power otherwise, right? Yeah. Meanwhile, Chang has started to guard that right side of her face. That's opened up her left side. Pike targeting that. The yeah. left oh, side is starting to Nice right hand. Now she's having to swing on her left job. side. Yeah. yeah, Chang is getting beat up here. All pikes so far, 30 seconds to go round three. Pike looks like she might have punched herself out a little bit here. Another uppercut to the body for Leash Pike. Last 10 of round three. Nice left hook by Pike. Yeah, Pike is just ferocious, though. I, I love her attitude. She's always trying to get after it. No matter how well she's doing, she, she's concerned on what's yeah. coming next. There's no question on who's winning this fight. No, and she's always pushing the pace. We'll see here if the doctor will let Sandy Chang compete in the fourth round here. Both sides of her face are now swelled up. The right side is leaking. Some MMA techniques over here in the corner yeah. of Sandy. Yeah, she has her legs propped up. I don't up. really see that often in boxing. No. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I, I, I have to agree with you. I don't know <laughs> if I've ever seen that in a boxing <laughs> yeah. match. Interesting. Even in MMA, it's it's here and there. It's not all the time. Yeah. I think it's a Muay Thai thing, actually, to be honest with you. Yeah, it makes I a lot of sense. I think I've seen it with Muay Thai. I know I've seen it, but... I don't think in boxing or maybe not often in even traditional MMA, but seen it somewhere. Both girls we'll marked up, both girls bleeding. It's been a war. No immediate stoppage this time. Pike goes right to work. The two clench and throw some inside shots. Pike just has a, a rough, tough style, and uh, she's fun to watch fight. Yeah, she goes for it. Nice little return right hand there from Chang. Right as she landed that, Pike got her on the chin. Pike goes to the body. She does a good job of getting some good leverage on that right hand. Good left Brought hook. the hook behind the right hand there. You yeah, that absolutely off. right, Aaron. That was, a, that was a nice left hook. And that looked like it rocked uh, Chang a little bit there. Chang's definitely getting bothered by these punches more now. Yeah, and that left hook was on the, the side the cut's on. Yep. Good that body good work combo. all the way up to the head. For I think would, that would be Pike's best chance probably for a stoppage is to the body. Yep. Nice right hand. She's landed right hand. some beautiful shots to the head, and, and, and Sandy's hanging around. I think body shots would probably be the best route be best uh agreed suited for a knockout 
about to get a stop at Travis. Yeah, she's going to make it. And Leisha's doing a good job of changing levels. Nice, another good left hook. Sandy's going to hang in there, though. Yeah. Good job by Pike. Yeah, Pike's accurate with both hands, whether it's the jab, the hook, the, the right hand. Yeah, she's doing a good she's job. She's extremely of... busy as well. She's yeah, just she's... fun to watch fight. Yeah. I look forward to seeing her again. Yeah, that was a great fight. Great fight. Leash Pike, you figure four rounds to none? Yeah, 100%, four rounds to none. Yeah. Leash yeah. did a great job controlling the outside and then marauding on the inside. Really good job. Cindy Chang got cut. Back in that first round, guys, that proved to be. Credit to Chang, though. She yeah. you know, went all four rounds with a cut. All smiles right now, too. Yeah. Made some big punches in those four rounds. Yeah, she's a real fighter. Real good display for uh, women's boxing tonight. Always some classic women's fights here on a Boston Boxing Promotions card. Shayna Fapiano, yep. last time, uh, the last couple fights here at the Castleton. Yep. yep. Of course, Kimberly Wawick from Revere. Repeat contestant here at BBP. So Aaron, I know you've been uh, cornering a lot of these cards in Boston Boxing Promotions history. Yeah. Give us uh, your top three, perhaps, of all time. Uh, top three? Um... I'm going to say one of the best fights I've seen here is probably uh, Higgins and Gigliotti. Yeah. That was a great that's fight. That's my top three, even though I was on the losing um, end that night. I might be a little biased, even though we came out on the wrong end. But uh, I thought Stephen Clever Langlis versus James Perkins uh, in a six-round battle was an unbelievable fight. That was a war. It was a war. You saw Steve walk, you know, walk Perkins down, land his shots when he did, get up off the canvas, finish the fight strong. Uh, really the first time we've seen Perkins at Boston Box and has some adversity, so that was a huge fight. And uh, for a third one, I'm going to be biased again. And because, uh, I mean, he's coming out right now. Kyle Cusick versus Tony Andriozzi. Had to be just the between the buildup, everything. Uh, yeah, I called that fight. That was a fun fight. It was a fun fight, you know, between the buildup, the crowd. Uh, and it was an entertaining fight, you know. So uh, those are my top three. Sean? I'd have to put... Um uh, two of them uh, uh, right off the bat just because of the, the build-up and the anticipation was uh, Brandon Higgins versus Harry Gigliotti and, of course, Brandon Higgins in his most recent outing against uh, Nikki Molina. Yeah. And uh, I really enjoyed Matt Doherty's fight with uh, with right next to my buddy Chris J right now against Rudy Ochoa. We were on the losing in there, too, but that was a very fun fight for me. Yeah, we'll get your third when uh, Peter's done with the announcement. After four action-packed, hard-fought rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Eddie Scunzio, Martha Tremblay, and Robert Paolino see the fight 40-36. to 36. For your winner, the unanimous decision, Leash Pike. So there it is, Leash Pike victorious. All three judges scored it the same. You know what fight I got to put up there too is um, is when uh, Britt Hart sh shocked everyone and knocked out uh, Kim Webick. That was that was a fun fun fight that to was, watch. That was, yeah, that was a good fight. And uh, you know what else was a fun fight too? In a, kind of a big upset, a, a little controversy as well was uh, Ryan Clark versus Chris Jacobs. I thought I thought Ryan Clark, uh, I thought Chris Jacobs won that first fight. But Ryan Clark was so determined and, yeah. and, and, and just nonstop. And, uh, and you know, fight. I think everyone that I that called the fight with me, we all thought that uh, Chris had gotten the upper hand. But the two out of the three guys you need didn't. And that was kind of a little bit of controversial. Chris came back and beat him. But that was a fun fight for me to watch. For me, yeah, I, I agree with all of those as, as right up there in the top three. Honorable mention to uh, any of the Nick Molina main events. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. he's he's just so fun to watch. You know he's going places, and just uh, a great little boxer. Nick, yeah, because yeah, he, he can make adjustments on the fly. 